So what have you heard about the Lake County housing market? Is it up or is it down? The July report's coming up next. The results may surprise you. Stay tuned. Before we get started, if you'd like to discuss your situation or anything specific, feel free to connect with me directly. Just click the link below to access my calendar and schedule a time that works best for you. I'm happy to help in any way possible. So let's get started right away. Let's cover the stats first, then we can talk about what it really means to you and what's going on in the market right now. For median sale prices, we hit an all-time high at 462. Now that's up 7% from May this year, but it's up 9% from June 2023. Inventory continues to struggle. At 959 homes in the market in June, that's well below 1,000 mark, and we continue to struggle to bring new homes to the market each and every month. Let's talk about our sales numbers in Lake County. In June, we placed 603 homes under contract, and that number has been pretty consistent over the last few months going back to March. And we closed on 633 homes in the month of June. Now that number is the highest monthly total we've had in all of 2024, but the lowest number of homes we've closed in the month of June for the previous three years. The list price to sold price ratio tells us how we're doing in pricing homes compared to the market demand. Right now, everything is selling just about at 100%. So on average, every home that goes on the market sells for more than asking price. Days on market. How long does a home have to wait to sell? Typically, we're seeing an average of 30 days on the market. But let me just tell you, if your home's not selling in the first five days, something's not in alignment. So to highlight what's going on in the market, I want to talk about two different sets of clients we had. First clients we want to talk about is a set of buyers that were relocating back to Lake County from out of the country, and they needed to buy a home. We wrote on four or five different offers before we got the right one. They're focusing on the Lake County area, and we were in a certain price range. Now, every time we were going, we usually end up being second sometimes to cash. So we did the best we could and we got them a house finally. I worked with a great agent and they helped us make sure that we got the deal. One of the ways that we were able to do that is we found a home that had some challenges. So someone was buying it and then they canceled. Sometimes there's ways to find bargains like that. And in fact, we were able to get this home for them below asking price. So not every home out there sells above asking price, but you have to know where to find the bargains and where the signs are. The other situation I'd like to talk about is that we put a home in the market in Waukegan. The sellers were excited to get their home sold so they could move somewhere else. We received 15 offers in just a few days. Now with that many offers, you get to look at all the different factors that come into play. Sometimes it's a cash offer, sometimes it's an FHA offer, sometimes it's a conventional offer. Sometimes the cash offers aren't as good as they look because they're not as high as the other offers. So you work to find a good offer that matches what the sellers want, being flexible and finding a good fit. Now, what really ended up happening is half of the offers didn't do very well. They didn't, their agents didn't tell them what the market was doing and they didn't offer enough money. So the other offers that came in, they were offered competitive amounts. And so we were able to set some offers aside because they weren't high enough and really look at the components of the other offers. We had one offer that was really pretty good, but didn't include a, a pre-approval letter. What they end up doing is the sellers picked an offer that matched their needs and fit their timeline. Make sure that you're doing that as a buyer. You have to have a good communication strategy with the listing agent so you can match up what your buyers want with what the seller wants. If the seller gets what they want, there's a good chance that your buyers are going to get what they're looking for. So if you're having any trouble as a buyer, maybe we should have a strategy session to talk about what's not happening for you right now. So what does this all mean to you? Buyers and sellers, we're still in a seller's market. While inventory is tight and buyer interest has dipped, the demand remains steady. Sellers, your property values continue to remain strong as we potentially explore higher values. Investors, the rental market is booming as rents continue to rise. This could be an opportunity for you to consider adding to your portfolio. Alternatively, for those with multiple doors, this could be the perfect moment for you to cash out while values are at their peak. The message here is clear. If you want better than average results, if you'd like to make sure your offer is accepted instead of overlooked, or if you'd like to sell your home for the biggest possible payoff, time is now, it's not too late. 
feel free to connect with me by clicking the link down below to access my calendar and schedule a time that works best for you. I'm excited to hear about your situation and what you'd like to accomplish in 2024 or maybe even 2025. Just click the link down below to access my calendar and schedule a time that works best for you. Buyer demand and incredibly low levels of inventory have driven prices to all new highs in spite of the high interest rates. So what do you think is going to happen next? Will prices continue to rise? Will interest rates drop as we get closer to the election? Stay tuned next month where we watch and report what happens next. Hey there. It would mean the world to me if you could share this with someone you know that might benefit from the conversation with me. Thanks for listening. I look forward to connecting with you soon. I'm James Tiernan from the Tiernan Group at Keller Williams North Shore West, your guide to real estate.